In this video, we will focus on how to easily add link room information to FF&E content using ID FimLink. Revit schedules have some limited abilities to report room location information for families, such as room name and number. This works well for projects that have rooms and place families in the same model, which is a typical workflow for some projects. One of the challenges with Revit is the ability to report room location information for content that is placed in rooms from a linked model which is a typical workflow we see between an architect that is responsible for the corn shell model and the interior designer who is responsible for the interiors model. When the architect's corn shell model is linked into the interiors model for FF&E design work, Revit will not report the room information for the FF&E content, which can be problematic when trying to schedule the location of furniture based on linked rooms. Thankfully, we have IDA FinLink to assist us with this challenge. ID FinLink reports room information for families that are placed in rooms from linked models. With this information readily available to us, we can create some shared parameters for our desired room location and use ID FinLink in Excel to copy that linked room information into our custom parameters for the purpose of scheduling and tagging. Let's have a look at this workflow. In the example shown on your screen, I have an architect's link file as shown here which has the corresponding rooms as part of the link file itself. In the current FF&E model, I have the FF&E equipment. If I go to my working FF&E schedule, you can see here that I'm listing out the categories, and this happens to be a multi-category schedule. This way I could schedule components like furniture, furniture systems, lighting fixtures, and so forth. I also have a is FF&E parameter. This happens to be a custom project parameter. It's a yes, no parameter. And the idea is that this will help me filter the schedule out by FF&E components only, and also helps me identify which furniture, fixtures, and equipment are part of the FF&E package and which one may not be part of the package. You may notice over here that I'm scheduling the built-in parameters for room name and room number. However, the information for the schedule is blank. And that happens to be because Revit is unable to schedule this FF&E equipment when the rooms are part of a link file. This is where we need to use BIMLink to help us out with this process. In columns I and J, you can see that I have a custom share parameter for room location name and room location number. I went ahead and created these as project share parameters. This way I didn't need to add these parameters to any of the furniture families. So if I download any FF&E equipment from any other manufacturers, those parameters do not need to exist in those family files. I can still create a tag and tag these elements using that project shared parameter. In addition, I've created a nicer schedule over here, which would be maybe the final schedule that could go on a sheet. It's going to show my room location name and my room location number, which are the custom parameters that I created. I went ahead and highlighted these columns in a different color just so that they stand out from the rest of the schedule content. So in order for me to get the room information into columns I and J, since we are unable to get them in g &H, I'm going to use ID8 BIMLink for this process. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is click on ID8 BIMLink. I'll come up to the ID8 software tab and then I'm going to launch BIMLink. I'll go ahead and make BIMLink a little bigger. I'll click on New. And in this case, since I already have that FF&E working schedule, I'll go ahead and click on the By Schedule option and select the FF&E schedule. And I'm interested in editing instance parameters, so I'll stick with that. I'll hit OK. When I look in BIMLink, you can see that it takes me to the Categories tab. The reason why is because this happens to be a multi-category schedule. Now I already have a filter in here which was picked up by BIMLink called is ff &E. and that's how my Revit schedule is actually filtered. If I want to do some further filtering and ensure only certain categories show up, I can uncheck everything here and only select the categories that I want. I'll start off with furniture, furniture systems, and lighting fixtures. You can certainly add other categories if they are part of the FF&E package. And you can see here I have 309 elements, and I'll show full preview. Now, one thing you may immediately notice is that the room name and room number information happens to be filled out. If I pull this dialog box down just a little bit, you can see that columns G and H in the Revit schedule are not filled out. However, BIMLink was able to fill this information out. We were able to gather that info for you. The goal here is to take this information from BIMLink, 
both the room name and the room number, and copy that information over to our custom project shared parameters. I'll hit Done, and I'll Export. I'll go ahead and save this here. And then I'm going to open the file. And now all I need to do is copy the data from columns H and I over to columns J and K. So I'm going to use a simple formula here for the room location name. You may notice that the architect used proper case here. I'm going to go ahead and make everything uppercase. I'll type in equals upper, and then in parentheses, I'll select column H2 and hit enter. And then for the room location number, I'll simply make it equal to I. Now that I'm done with that, I'll select these two cells and fill it down. Now that that process is complete, I'll do a quick review. Everything looks good. I'll go ahead and save this file. And now I'll import the data. Once the data import is complete, we'll do a quick review here to make sure everything looks good. And you can see everything is uppercased here versus proper case. And down here I have zero errors and warnings. I'll go ahead and hit import and I'll close out BIMLink. And now if I look at my working schedule, this data is filled in. If I come over to my cleaned up schedule, you can see I have it organized by each one of the rooms. And you can see here it gives me a confirmation of the room location name and number. And as I scroll down, we have a mix of furniture and furniture systems all broken out by each individual room. And if I come over to the floor plan over here, you can see that I had a tag over here and I need to do some minor adjustments for the leaders, but you can see it's now reporting the room information in here. This tag is using that same custom shared parameters that I created for the room name and room number. It's important to note that while this video focuses on gathering linked room data to push into custom room parameters for ff and &E, the process of gathering data to push into custom parameters worked for many other categories as well. Learn more by visiting our website at id8software.com. To learn more about our products, workflows, help, and upcoming classes, be sure to visit our website at id8software.com. Also follow us on social media for the latest information and news from id8software. Thank you.